everyone, let's look at our next multiple choice question. So it says 60 people visited a swimming pool one evening. 13 out of the 19 people who wore goggles were adults. There were 15 children. What is the probability that a person was wearing goggles given they were a child? Okay, so there's a few things I hear out here. I see a buzzword of probability and I see this given. All right, so I can already tell this is going to be a probability question. So I'm going to tell you this is a chapter three question, right? We're dealing with probability. Probability. All right, and I, I hear that there's a conditional probability. And I say that because I see the phrase given that. And I'm just going to put like other phrases I, I've seen. It, it could say if they were a child, or it could say of the children, what's the probability that the person was wearing goggles? And things that I do want to also keep track of. If I think about these 60 people, if that's the sample I'm dealing with, what am I keeping track of for each of these folks? Well, there's two, in my opinion, two categorical variables. And I'm going to put variables because like I said, there's two variables. All right. The first one is, are you an adult or a child? That's the first thing it sounds like they're keeping track of. And then the next thing they're keeping track of is, did you wear goggles or not? So I have these two categorical variables. So to me, I, I personally, I, I, I like the tables. I think I like the tables the best. And I hear this as I could make a table. So I'm going to go ahead and make a two-way table. All right. And give me a moment to just kind of set up a table here. I don't exactly know how many um, boxes I'll need. I'll at least need four. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put some labels on these also. So let me get four going in here now. And here's what I mean. <clears throat> So the first thing I'll do is this will say goggles and this will say no goggles. Oh, and actually, you know what? I'm going to just scoot this a little bit to the left because I do think I'm going to want a total out here. Okay, so then I'm going to have, we're going to go adult versus child. And like I said, I do think I want the totals. I'm going to eventually use those. So I'll put them out here. Okay, so let me extend this table. This is why I said I didn't know exactly how many cells I would need. All right, so I'm going to put these numbers in place. So the first number I see is 60. If there are 60 people total, I'm going to put that there. And then I see here 13 out of 19 people who wore goggles were adults. So I see that there were 19 people who wore goggles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the 19 down on the goggles total. But then they said 13 of those folks were adults. So I'm going to put the 13 here. And then by complement, there had to be a 6 here. Okay, the next thing I see is there were 15 children. Well, if there are 15 children in total, I'm going to put that over on the total under the child row. And then by complement, this cell here has to be 9 because 6 plus 9 gets me to 15. And then probably I can just figure out the rest. And I think I can, just looking at it, if this is 60 and this is 15, this cell has to be 45. So let me mark that. Okay, and then if this cell is 45 and this is 13, again, through subtraction, this one's got to be 32. All right, let me erase the little shadings I did. Okay, and then let's add 32 and 9 to get this total, and that would give me 40, whoops, wrong pen. That would give me 41. And I always like to just check that my totals are in line. So 19 and 41 is 60. That's true. And 45 and 15 is also 60. So I just like to double check, make sure I haven't added or, or input a number incorrectly. All right, so I've got my table set up. Let's get this probability going. So I need capital P. I want the probability that someone was wearing goggles given they were a child. Okay, now I have a conditional probability formula, formula two, that I can always use. So I'm going to write that here, and then we're going to go figure this out. All right, so playing the role, and let me color code this because I think that helps. Playing the role of A right now is goggles. Yeah, and then let's do, we'll do green. And playing the role of B right now is child. So let me go swap that formula out with our, our situation. So we've got goggles and child over it looks like the probability of child okay so now let's let's figure this part out so i'm gonna change pen colors or highlighter colors anytime we have an and and we're on a table we look for where the row and column overlap and then we divide that by the total so here we go i'm gonna go with the goggles column 
the child row, and when I look at that overlap, it was right here at six. So my numerator in this case is gonna be six out of 60. All right, and then I need the probability of child. So let me go ahead and go back to green. If I just want child, all right, let's see, there were what, 15 out of 60 children. Okay, so now this becomes uh, arithmetic, right? So we're gonna have six over 60 times 60 over 15. The 60s cancel. That leaves me with six over 15. And as a decimal, that is 0 0.40 or 40%. So let's see what answer that lines up with. Oops, there we go, C. All right, so that is how I handle number three. And again, that is a chapter three question. There was a lot more to chapter three than just um, a table and a conditional probability type problem. I would recommend go back and look at chapter three. That one is always a doozy as we go through stats. All right.